Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send flyers to customers on WhatsApp. Let's suppose I'm having a makeup studio and I also have the details of all my customers in my Google Sheets. And now I want to send automated WhatsApp message to all these customers at the same time along with the brochures or flyer of my makeup studio. So how are we going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Sheets and WhatsApp and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So here we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and in action I'm going to take WhatsApp Cloud API through which I want to send template messages to all my customers on WhatsApp. And we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically send brochures or flyers for our business to our customers on WhatsApp from Google Sheets. Okay, okay, for this we are going to create an automation by setting up a connection between Google Sheets and WhatsApp and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which allows us to connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills which helps us to automate our task. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them in order to save my workflows accordingly on my dashboard. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send flyers to customers on WhatsApp. Okay. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this Google Sheets to WhatsApp automation. And now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Now, let's suppose we want to send the WhatsApp message from Google Sheets. So in our trigger, we are going to take Google Sheets and in action, we are going to take WhatsApp Cloud API through which we want to send automated WhatsApp message to our customers. And we want that as soon as the data will be added in Google Sheets of our customers, then automatically WhatsApp message should be sent along with the brochures and flyers to our customer. So here we can find that the action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the data is added in Google Sheets, then only in action the WhatsApp message is sent. Now, after understanding the concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application that is Google Sheets. So let's do that. And now we need to select our trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start or trigger. So our trigger event here will be new or updated spreadsheet row. And here is the webbook URL along with some instructions. Now we need to follow the instructions step by step in order to connect our Google Sheets where we have the data of our customers with Pabli Connect. And for doing that, the webbook URL which is provided to us is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards here in Pabli Connect. Okay, I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets in order to connect it with Pabli Connect. And here, this is the spreadsheet which I have prepared. The name of the spreadsheet is customers data. It contains the details of my customers for my makeup studio. So here are two columns for the name as well as for WhatsApp number. So this is the name of the customer and this is the WhatsApp number. I want that automatically to all these customers, WhatsApp message should be sent without any manual efforts along with the brochures and flyers of my makeup studio. For doing this, first of all, we need to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So let's go towards extensions and here we need to click on this add add-ons and then we have to click on get add-ons. When we will do that, it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we need to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. So this is the add-on which we need to install in Google Sheets. As you can find that I have already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on. So I'm going to cross this and once you will install the add-on, you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you could find the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks under extensions. As I can find the option, let's go towards initial setup. And basically, in order to connect our Google Sheets with Public Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we need to enter two details. 
web book url and trigger column so we will go back towards public connect and here we are going to copy the web book url and we will paste it here in this field okay the next is the trigger column now the concept of trigger column says that whenever we are going to enter the data up till this particular column then automatically the response will be captured in public connect and the workflow is going to trigger the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the web book url okay here you can find in the background i have two columns column a and column b so column b will be my trigger column as i want that as soon as i'm going to enter the data up till trigger column that means up till whatsapp number of the customer then the workflow should trigger and the response of that entire row should be automatically sent towards Pabli Connect. so here i'm going to enter column b as my trigger column now i'm going to click on this send test button to send the test response towards Pabli Connect. and here the test data of this demo customer is sent okay let's submit the configuration and we will close this let's go back towards Pabli Connect, and here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details whatsapp number trigger column spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id row index and the name of the customer this means that the connection between google sheets and Pabli Connect is successful now i want to send whatsapp template message along with the brochures and flyers to my customer okay for that i'm going to connect whatsapp cloud api in action step so we will select our action application as whatsapp cloud as whatsapp cloud api and with the help of this i am going to send whatsapp template message to my customers now let us select action event our action event will be sent template message and let's click on connect now from the given options i'm going to select add new connection to built a new connection with whatsapp cloud api account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that now here we need to enter three details token phone number id and whatsapp business account id from where we are going to find all these details for that we have to first of all set up our whatsapp api for that first of all you need to set up your whatsapp cloud api account and after doing that you will find all these details under meta for developers so I'm going to take you towards Meta for Developers and this is the app dashboard of WhatsApp Cloud API under Meta for Developers. From the left side here, we can find the option of API setup. Let's select it. And here are all the details we required. So first of all, let us copy the temporary access token and we will paste it over here in this field. The next is the phone number ID. Let's copy it and we will paste it over here. And at last, we need to copy WhatsApp business account ID as well. And we will quickly paste it over here. Done. Let's click on save. And with this, we can find that our WhatsApp Cloud API account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. After building the connection, here we need to enter the details in these fields. Okay, first of all, it is asking us the template name. So I have created a template for sending WhatsApp messages along with the flyers to my customers. I'm going to show you that. Okay, so this is my template. This is the preview of the template. The message is, Dear Dummy, we are glad to share exciting offers with you. Enjoy 20% off on all your appointments with us this month. Apply coupon code DIVINE20. In the brochure, you will find detailed descriptions of our makeup services, ranging from bridal makeup to special events, fashion shows, and professional photo shoots. Regards, Divine Glamour Makeup Studio. And I have also attached a call to action button so that a customer can call me for booking the appointment. Okay. So in the message, I have also attached the brochure of my makeup studio in the image header while selecting the header type as media. And I've uploaded the image of the brochure over here in this media type. Okay. Now, now in the place of name of the customer, I have used a variable in the template and wherever in the template, we are going to use variable. The detail of that place is going to change automatically without any manual efforts with each and every new response. That means now this template message along with the brochure is going to be sent to all my customers, but with the customized format, that means the name is going to be replaced each time. Okay. So you can very easily create your own template. We have to go towards the API setup page. Once again, when we will scroll down, you will find the option to create your own message template. Click here on the hyperlinks to let's do that. And it will take you towards message template section of WhatsApp cloud API. And from there, you can find the option of create template. By clicking on it, you can create your template very easily. Once you will complete the template, you also have to send it for approval. And when it will be approved, you can use it in order to send WhatsApp template message to all your customers. All right. Now, because my template is approved, we will go back towards Pabli Connect. And here we are going to enter the details. So my template name is already selected. And as soon as we have selected the name of the template, automatically the language code as well as the template ID will also be selected. The next is the recipient mobile number. So on which number you want to send the template message? We want to send this message to our customers and we have already received the details of our customer from our earlier response okay we need to enter the number of the customer over here so we will simply map the number 
mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details let us simply select the number and it will be mapped now when we have mapped this number it is going to change with each and every response that means it has become dynamic now so automatically message will be sent to all our customers of which we have the data in our google sheets on all these numbers now we will move further and here it is asking us the header image url whatever image we have attached in our template that means the flyer or the brochure which we have attached in our template we need to provide the url of that over here so the url of my image is make a brochure dot jpg i have entered the url of the image over here exactly and now here we need to enter the body field in this field we need to enter the values which we want to use in place of the variables which we have used in the template so i have used only one variable in my template that is for name and i want to keep the value of that variable as a name of my customer so i'm simply going to map the name of my customer done and yes now it is going to change with each and every response so we will simply click on save and send test request button in order to send the whatsapp message but before that because i have used all the dummy phone numbers over here in order to show you therefore in order to send the real message on whatsapp i'm going to enter a real phone number over here i've entered the phone number now let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response in the response we have also received the status as accepted that means the whatsapp message is sent on this particular number so let's go and check on whatsapp whether the message is received or not and yes we can find that we have received the message over here this is the brochure of my makeup studio and this is the entire message dear demo customer we are glad to share exciting offers with you enjoy 20 percent off on all your appointments with us this month apply coupon code divine 20 okay so we have received this message that means the workflow is perfectly successful up till now now we have to go back towards google sheets and because our objective is to send the same message along with the same brochure to all the customers in the personalized format therefore here we have to do one more step we have to once again go towards extensions public connect web books and this time we need to click on this send all data button as soon as we have done that now automatically message will be sent to all these customers without any manual efforts along with the brochures and the flyers okay all right so we will go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken google sheets and an action we have taken whatsapp cloud api and we have connected both of them by using public connect in such a way that automatically whatsapp message will be sent along with the flyers and brochures to all of our customers from google sheets Okay, so you can very easily create this automation. This will enable you to automatically send the brochures and flyers for your business without any manual efforts, effortlessly to all your customers on WhatsApp. This was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.